Ananda, bliss, an essential subject from Vinaypedia. The word Nanda means bliss to be happy is one thing, but to be blissful is another. Blissful indicates a greater and longer period of happiness. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna, is Satsit Nanda, full of eternity, knowledge and bliss. Anything which is related to Lord Krishna brings about Nanda. Every living entity is also constitutionally eternal, blissful, and full of knowledge. To overcome the pangs of material miseries and to achieve this blissful existence, one must come to the stage of realizing that as Krishna's eternal fragmental part and parcel, our birthright is to be situated in this state of Satsit Nanda. Srila Prabhupada's books, lectures, conversations and letters offer a comprehensive presentation of this essential subject as seen in the Vinikots Ananda, Bliss, category. An introduction from his books is given below in the following eight quotes. Quotes from Srila Prabhupada's books A living entity becomes established in spiritual, blissful life when he fully understands that his happiness depends on spiritual self-realization, which is the basic principle of Nanda, bliss, and when he is eternally situated in the service of the Lord, who has no other Lord above him. R. Mad B. H. Gavadam 5.19 20. Thus for a bhakta to become attached to family affairs is impossible, since a bhakta and his associates are liberated. Everyone is searching after Nanda or bliss, but in the material world there can never be any bliss. It is only possible in devotional service. Attachment for family affairs and devotional service are incompatible. R. Mad B. H. Gavadam 5.1. 2. K is always fully independent. When he becomes subordinate to his devotees, this is a display of Nanda Sinma Rasa, the humor of transcendental qualities that increases his transcendental pleasure. Everyone worships K as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and therefore he sometimes desires to be controlled by someone else. Such a controller can be no one else but a pure devotee. R. Mad B. H. Gavadam 10.9 19. Undoubtedly the eternal living entity cannot be annihilated at any point. But the lower species of life exist in a miserable condition, whereas one who is engaged in the devotional service of the Supreme Lord is situated in the pleasurable, or Nanda Maya, status of life. The different stages described above are all in relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Although in all circumstances there exist both the Supreme Personality of Godhead and the living entities, the difference is that the Supreme Personality of Godhead always exists in the Nanda Maya stage. K. Book, Chapter 87, The Personality of Godhead is the complete form of Saksidnanda, full life, knowledge and bliss. By realization of the Sat portion of the complete whole, unlimited existence, one realizes the impersonal Brahman aspect of the Lord. By realization of the Sit portion of the complete whole, unlimited knowledge, one can realize the localized aspect of the Lord, the Paramtiam. But neither of these partial realizations of the complete whole can help one realize Nanda, or complete bliss. Without such realization of Nanda, knowledge of the Absolute Truth is incomplete. Kaitanya Karatam Ta, DLL 2.5, one who has acquired Absolute Knowledge and who always meditates on the Absolute Truth, Knowledge, the Unlimited and the Brahman Effulgence, thus keeping himself in transcendental bliss, is called Nanda Brahmakar. One who is able to distinguish between matter and spirit, who is never disturbed by material transformations, and who meditates on the unlimited, inexhaustible, auspicious Brahman effulgence is a first class, learned Brahmakar and is named Kaitanya. Kaitanya Karatam Ta, Madhya LL 6.73. To be more clear, if one wants to attain the stage of love of Godhead, he must give up all desires for material enjoyment, he should refrain from worshipping any of the demigods, and he should devote himself only to the worship of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He must give up the foolish idea of becoming one with the Lord and the desire to have some wonderful powers just to get the ephemeral adoration of the world. The pure devotee is only favorably engaged in the service of the Lord, without any hope of emolument. This will bring about love of Godhead, or the stage of Ndam and Nandam, as stated in this verse. R. Mad B. H. Gavadam 2.2. 31. The supreme destination, from which there is no return, is the abode of K.A., the supreme person. The Brahma Sahit describes this supreme abode as Nanda Sinma Rasa, a place where everything is full of spiritual bliss. All the brigadedness manifest there is of the quality of spiritual bliss nothing there is material. That brigadedness is expanded as the spiritual expansion of the Supreme Godhead himself, for the manifestation there is totally of the spiritual energy, as explained in Chapter 7. Bhagavad Gita 8.22